it's Miss Brenda here and um, it's how I don't even know how many weeks it's been since I've gotten to see you guys um, and I miss you all so 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 much and this week I was cleaning out um, a bunch of boxes at my house and I found all these books that I used to use and read when I was teaching in the schools in fact some of you guys go to the schools that I used to teach at I think Coraline you're at Mountain I believe and I was there a lot and so um, um, so I found this book and I thought oh my gosh you guys would love this book so I am going to read it to you guys I hope it's not too long it's a really special book to me and it and then it also there's a scripture I want to read at the end that goes right with the story of the book. And this is kind of something fun. I think that you guys could do in your family. You could do with your group of friends. Maybe when school starts back up, maybe um, sometime you guys will get to do this. But I'm going to try to turn this um, around. I may have to stop it and start it again but so I can show you the book. Okay? Hold on. The Goodness Gorillas by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen. It's illustrated by Pat Grant Porter. And it says, for the real Jessica Dockstetter and her mother, Christina, whose acts of loving kindness make the world a nicer place. It all started the day Jessica Dockett brought cupcakes to school for the whole class. Jessica, said Mrs. King, I didn't know it was your birthday. It's not. My mom made cupcakes because she's a gorilla. Jessica handed Mrs. King a note. Mrs. King wrote these words on the chalkboard. Gorilla goodness. And here's the note which said, Dear Mrs. King, Thank you for letting me practice gorilla goodness on your class, Mrs. Dockett. She told the class, we all know what a gorilla is, but this word gorilla means something else. It's a word that people use when they're part of a group that's trying to change something. Like a secret club, asked Patricia. Mm, sort of like that. Gorilla goodness means practicing random acts of kindness. That's what Miss Dockett and lots of other people all over the world are doing right now. They're trying to make the world a nicer place just by finding new ways to be extra kind and good to people, even to strangers. You mean Mrs. Dockett makes cupcakes for strangers too? asked Stuart. She might or she might let someone in front of her in line at the grocery store. She might shovel snow from her neighbor's driveway without saying anything. She might plant flowers in a public place for everyone to enjoy, or she could help poor people. There's lots of ways to spread goodness once you start looking for them. time everyone was talking about gorilla goodness real gorillas in the jungle do nice things for each other too said tina i saw it on tv i know let's make our own club said michael jessica should be the leader since she knows the most about it and that's how the goodness gorillas started peter came to school early and sharpened all his classmates pencils everyone smiled and said thanks peter Everyone that is except for Todd. He tried to poke Peter in the arm with his pencil's new sharp point. Jessica pulled out a mat for every person in her gymnastics class. What a lovely act of kindness, said her coach. Stuart let his little sister watch her favorite TV show, even though it was his turn to choose the channel. Later that night, his sister gave him the last piece of her Halloween candy. All of the goodness gorillas met at the park on Sunday and cleaned up the litter in the park. They were having a great time until Todd showed up with his scary dog, Brutus. 
Todd laughed hard when Brutus nipped at Jessica's heels and growled at all the children. Todd walked over to the pile of cans that the Goodness Gorillas had gathered for recycling. He picked them up one by one and threw them all over the park. Hey, dumb gorillas, go fetch, he yelled. Why does Todd always have to be so mean, asked Tina. The Goodness Gorillas picked up all the cans, but it wasn't as much fun as it had been before. Patricia cleaned her room and her brother's room without being asked. Her dad thanked her and made her dinner. Tina packed up all her toys and her mom helped her bring them to a homeless shelter. I am so proud of you, said her mom. Michael went with his uncle to volunteer at a senior citizen's home. A lady there told him, you made our day. The Goodness Gorillas met at recess every day to talk about new ideas for spreading kindness. And every day, Todd danced around the group, grunting and scratching his armpits. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, look at me. I'm a big, dumb gorilla who makes goody good with everyone. What a creep, said Stuart. All he ever does is cause trouble. Go away, Todd. If you can't be nice, we don't want you around. One day, Mrs. King says, I have some really bad news class. Yesterday afternoon, Todd's dog Brutus was hit by a car. He died in the night. Todd is at home feeling really bad and very alone. I'm hoping some of you will visit him. Does that sound like a job for the Goodness Gorillas? Jessica raised her hand. It's just that Todd makes fun of us so much. I wouldn't know what to say if we visited him. Maybe he's felt, felt left out, said Mrs. King. Did any of you ever ask Todd if he'd like to join your club? He's not a goodness gorilla, said Tina. He's a meanness monster. Goodness gorillas see the good in everyone, said Mrs. King. Isn't that what you told me, Jessica? At recess, the goodness gorillas tried to decide what to do. Even though it had been a rotten day, they all felt really bad for Todd. Brutus was his only friend. I know, said Jessica. My mom could take us to the pound to find a new dog for Todd. Except, said Peter, spreading kindness means spreading it to animals, too. I'd feel sorry for any dog we gave to Todd. Well, we'll just have to find some good in Todd first then, said Jessica. I have a plan. Tonight, every single one of us will write down one good thing about Todd. I know it's hard, but try. And remember, there's good in everybody. The next day, all the goodness gorillas stood on Todd's doorstep and rang the doorbell. Todd answered the door himself. He looked like he'd been crying. What do you want? He asked. We've come to make you a goodness gorilla, said Jessica. Todd narrowed his eyes. Why? He growled, looking nastier than ever. Let us in and we'll tell you all the reasons why. Todd turned around and stomped back into the house, but he left the door open. So the goodness girl is all piled in, each one of them carrying a piece of paper. Todd's the fastest runner in our class, said Patricia. Todd has nice blue eyes, said Tina. Todd was friendly back in the first grade, said Stuart. Todd is funny when he tells jokes that don't make fun of people, said Peter. Michael and I came up with the same reason, said Jessica, and it's the best one of all. Todd does a great gorilla imitation. We want to learn it, said Michael and Tina and Peter. We all want to be gorillas. How do you make the grunt sound so real? 
Show us how to top, said Patricia. Everyone tried to do Todd's gorilla dance while Todd stood and watched them. Finally, he just had to smile and then he laughed. They weren't making fun of him. They really wanted to learn. When he couldn't resist it any longer, Todd turned himself into a gorilla too. Everyone followed his lead. They all grunted and hopped and scratched and screeched until they fell out of breath and laughing into a big heap on the floor. Jessica said, now that you're one of us, Todd, we have a surprise for you. She took Todd's arm and led him out to his backyard where the goodness gorillas had tied a furry, funny, black and white puppy. Todd ran over to the puppy and knelt down beside her, hugging her and stroking her fur. Big tears filled his eyes when he looked up at his new friends. I'm so sorry I made fun of you, he said. I didn't think you would ever be this nice to me. Can I really join your club? And the puppy jumped up and down. Look, she wants to be a gorilla too, said Tina. That's what I'll name her, said Todd. Her name can be Gigi for goodness gorillas, and she can belong to the whole club, just like a mascot. Everyone loved the idea. The goodness gorillas signed up more and more members. Mrs. King's class became a nicer place. Then the school became a nicer place. And then the town became a nicer place. And as the goodness gorillas grew up <clears throat> and went to different colleges and traveled to different cities, the whole world became a nicer place. And that's the story of the goodness gorillas. So I wanted to share the scripture with you, um, and it's found in Philippians 2. This is the one that um, I had originally read, and it's Philippians 2, verse 3, and starting in verse 3, it says, Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. And basically what it's saying is um, just put yourself above other people. Um, like if you're in your family and you see your sister wanting your candy and it's your last piece, go ahead and give it to her. Think of, you know, that's putting her before you. That's being a goodness gorilla, trying to show kindness. If your mom is doing the dishes, you can grab a towel hand tell and say, hey mom, can I help dry the dishes? Or if you're in your room and you look around and there's just like toys are piled up, like up to here, up to your head, and there's clothes everywhere, you can say, mom, can I help put the clothes away? Can I help put the toys away? Or don't even tell her, just do it. And she'll walk in your room and she'll be like, oh, what the, what the heck? Oh my gosh, um, what did she do? What did he do? They'll be so shocked. Um, you can, when it's time to take a shower or bath, you could just jump right in there. Just do things that make other people happy and show kindness. You can help your grandma and grandpas do stuff around the house. Um, give your dad a back massage, rub your mom's feet, <laughs> all kinds of things. Do something fun for your grandparents, um, all kinds of things. So I can't wait when I see you guys. I want you guys to remember what you're gonna do for somebody else and then I want you to tell me when I see you and I cannot wait to see you when I see you I'm giving you the biggest hug I miss you guys all so much hope you have a good Sunday love you bye